Yes, David, the city is looking at property near the corner of Southwest 41st Street and Stutley Road just steps across the street from where the current Sherwood Tower stands. Now the current tower holds 500,000 gallons of water, but city leaders say that is not enough to keep up with demand. The tower supplies water to not just the Lake Sherwood area, but a large chunk of western Topeka. The whole Wanamaker corridor is served in that western zone as well. And so by getting this additional million gallons of storage, that helps me in terms of available fire flow in the event that we would have a fire along that Wanamaker corridor because it's being pulled out of the out of that western zone as well. Now the new tower would add that 1 million gallons while keeping the current tower in place. This would triple the amount of water in the district and stop the city from having to regularly pump additional water into the area. Now the city engineer is working on a land survey right now. Once that is done, it will go back to the city council where they will vote on whether or not to start the process to acquire the lot land. Now if that is approved, it will still, I'm told, be another year before construction would begin. Live in Southwest Topeka, covering local news that matters. James Ryan, KSNT News. James, we certainly appreciate the update from that fast growing area of the capital city. While well, the city's utilities director says the construction on that water tower could take about 18 months, and he expects the tower would be completed and ready to use sometime in 2024.